Chu chu. Ai, ai, ai chu. Chu 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 chu. All right, welcome back to my channel. Today's focus is on the kata pinan nidan. So what I'm going to do is the first portion I'm going to teach you how to do the kata pinan nidan and then the second part of the video I'm going to teach you the applications, okay? All right, so here goes pinan nidan, the slow version and then I'm going to teach you the uh, faster version, okay? So pina nidan, yoi, this way. First one is block, low block, strike. Okay, step, punch, down, side block, block this way here, back, cat stance, punch, and punch. Step up, low block, low block here, high block, one, two, and three. Okay, from here, turn, low block, side, and step, punching. Down, low block to the side, step, punching. From here, low block this way. Uh, it's just gonna be three straight walking block uh, to the, uh, toward the face. One, two, and three. From here, turn, double shuto, knife hand block, turn, knife hand block, this way, knife hand block, and knife hand block, and then back to yoi. Okay, pretty much a uh, very simple kata, but it's still part of the uh, Pinan series. And the second part now I'm gonna do a little bit quicker, okay? So in case if I didn't mention it earlier, uh, this is the Matsu Bayashi Shorin Ryu version of uh, Pinan Nidan, okay? So if you learn uh, Shotokan or any other Okinawan Karate, it's, it's almost uh, similar, okay? But um, my... Uh, way of doing the forms is all about the mechanics of the body, okay? So uh, this part here, I'm gonna do a little bit uh, faster using speed, but I wanna teach you how to use the body mechanics, and then you can apply that into uh, your kata, okay? So pinan, nidan, yoi. So from here, as we do slow, it's this way, block, punch, right? So we do like this, yoi, turn, okay? And here, step. Low block, back, step, low block, so here you notice I changed my um, step, they all walking step, the reason why I changed is because of uh, the camera, I don't have enough space, okay, so I modify, low block, low So, okay. So you notice every time when I'm doing it quick, uh, your elbow gotta be within your rib cage, okay? So that's how you get the power. So don't go from the shoulder and then out. So from here you see a rib cage, and as I bend in, I whip it down, right? It's like this. See? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna break down some of these moves a little bit more, okay, so you get a, an idea. So like I said, the first one here, bent. You see how I bent in? Uh, with the elbow here like this, and I, sma uh, I smack up. So this way here, smack up, and then follow by this way. Okay, this. Okay. Here. Okay. So from here, as I step up, punch, don't just step straight like that and punch. Okay, from here, this way. You want to use um, uh, your legs as well as your your uh, your lats to step up and punch like that, okay? And uh, I have a video here on how to use uh, power from your leg, and I'm gonna attach it right here for you. So from here, this way here, bend and pull. Okay, see? Okay, from here, sink, sink, and then step this way. As you step down, this goes down like that, right? So from here, step, right, here, step, right. So from here, so here, one, two, yeah? Sink, right? And then from here, as you block, strike the same time. So, you, so this side is like that, right? So here, block, strike together here. Okay? Okay? 
Okay, and same. Pull this way here. Turn and step. Okay, so here. Okay, so those are the first uh, four techniques, which is probably the hardest technique to uh, to practice, right? Because you gotta understand how to use uh, your, your legs and your hip as well as your lats, right? So after here, low block, low block, right? From here, high block, watch, same. See how I, I throw my, my rib cage uh, with, with my uh, arm, come out first, and then the legs follow. This, we call this neutral. Neutral, and then shoot. Neutral, and then shoot it out. Neutral, and then shoot it out, okay? So it goes like this, here. Get turn, turn, okay? So it's very important that both your hand and your legs has to go together, all right? So understand this kind of how to generate power and then go back to the beginning of the video uh, and then follow the pattern so you can understand and, and learn how to do uh, pina nidan and do it a couple of times so that you can follow the pattern and then try to incorporate how you use uh, these uh, uh, alignment of your body in order to generate the power, okay? All right, so now we're gonna do the second part of the video, which is the applications, okay? How can you put this uh, kata into a fighting perspective, okay? All right, so, and then and also, you gotta keep in mind, these are uh, techniques from the kata in order for you to uh, learn the, the, tech, uh, the techniques to, uh, to execute, all right? Uh, you might say, oh, you could have done a different way and stuff like that. That's not the point because we have 18 katas and we can do you know, many different techniques. But uh, I wanted to focus on uh, what are the, these techniques for, okay? So I'm gonna have Kevin here. Uh, he's gonna help me with uh, the application part. So the first part, the kata, Again, here, yoi, we go block, and then uh, strike down, okay? Okay, so let's say if someone grabs you by the arm this way, right? So if he grabs you by this way here, look, there's so many ways of getting out, right? We can get out by this way. And I have uh, videos on how to get out of lock. See, from here, and then you just walk away, right? But for the kata uh, part of it, uh, if somebody grabs you here, so the first move, the kata is this, right? So he's, he's going to stand there, hold like that. So the first part of the kata is this, break, and then strike okay so somebody grab you like this here you see how he uh, his hand is extended right you want to hit him right here if you hit him right here fast enough what happens you're going to break his elbow right you go boom break him hard here and automatically this will open right and let's say if, if it doesn't open okay fine this thing is broken anyway then watch this here as i turn around this way right so i go this way turn around this way already open and then from here boom right into his, uh, his rib cage. So from here, I'll do it slow because you, if you do it fast, you will break his arm. So first technique, if somebody grab you here, is from here, boom, right, here, boom. And right when he hit him, uh, hit him like this, he lets go, he, he'll pull back, he'll pull back, and then you go this, like that, okay? So now, this make believe he'll pull, uh, I hit him, he pull back, and we follow, so hey, okay? So again, hey, okay? So that's the first uh, technique of the kata. Okay, the second technique is from here, then we step up and punch, okay? So we can do, and I also have other videos where I talk about having uh, three moves into combinations, right? Because you don't just want to do one by one by one. You want to do at least uh, two to three moves at one time. So let's say if Kevin grab again, so we do slow, grab here, he let go, and then we go, palm, followed by either we step up, punch, that's from the kata, or we modify one, turn, and bum, right, like that. So we do it quick this way. So here, go, bum, bum, bum. Okay, so how are we gonna put these three moves together? So we go one, grab, one, two, three, right? Okay? And then we go one, two, three. So either you step up or you just punch, right? So let's say he grabs like this here, we go, one, two, two. All right, so after this move here, the next one is low block, followed by another block, and then punch, okay? So for the kata, so what do we do with this, this move, okay? So it goes like this, 
So we do slow, so let's say if he hooks you, we go, bam, see side, side block, let's say he punches you, and we do this block, okay? And once we do this, this block here, uh, so his hand's being deflected, then we come in, punch, okay? So we go quick, so it's like, hey, hook, hey, hey, bam, okay? So one more time, and we go, hey, hey, bye, hey, bam. Okay, so after these, uh, these move here, then the next one is low block, and we do three high block, okay? Now you may ask, what's the point of doing three high blocks? Are we gonna uh, block the opponent three times? Look, that's how the card is designed. Uh, you can think about uh, block it three times, but most, most likely in reality, you don't want to, to do something like that, right? Because it's, it's just not real, okay? So just think of it as executing uh, three times, right? So I'm gonna do from this angle, so low block here, followed by one, two, three, right? So what we can do with this is this. So let's say if opponent comes in, let's say if he's gonna hook me from, uh, from the side, so I see how I go to block here. Once I block him here from like the kata, the next one is punch to the face and then block, no, don't do that, right? Because now um, after one block you should execute, right? You shouldn't be able to uh, block another one. So let's say if he comes in and he goes, he hook here, block, you come here, you come here. You see how I strike him with my fore uh, forearm? So strike with the forearm, okay? So he hook, I here, bam! You see how I hook here, okay? So that's how you want to practice. So he comes, Hey, bam. Okay, so he go quick. Hey, shoot. Okay, one more time. So he comes, he comes hook. Hey, shoot. Right there. So after these moves over here, low block, and then you get three high blocks, right? And then the uh, next part of the kata is to turn low block and then punch, low block, and then punch. Okay. Um, so how do you apply? How do you apply that low block? and punch it like that. So you can practice with your opponent here. Uh, practice low block and step up punch, not in that kind of sequence, but make it more simple than that, okay? Just go low block, punch, low block, reverse punch. As simple as that because, uh, look, if, if he's gonna hook you, if he's gonna hook you and then you step up to punch, it, it just takes up too much time, okay? So when you put these into applications, you wanna make it realistic too, so that you can appreciate what you're do, doing, okay? So you wanna uh, make sure that when you execute these things, you have enough power and it feels uh, satisfying versus why do I have to step up when it, when it has that disconnect, right? So you can practice with opponent. He comes in, he hook, you start from here, he hook and punch, right? He hook, just like that. And then you do the same thing with the other side, right? Low block punch, low block punch, okay? So like I said, pinan nidan is simple enough, um, so don't make it complicated, okay? There's a difference between putting into applications versus what we call um, a bunkai, where you know you, 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 you do exactly what the kata is. Uh, don't do exactly what the, what the kata is because the stepping is just gonna uh, take you off from, from the reality, okay? And this is the reason why when people say karate doesn't work, is because you're doing what the kata tells you. The kata is designed to make it beautiful. It's not designed to make uh, it into fighting. You have to break it down and make it into fighting to apply the power, okay? Okay, so that being said, after this side here, then in the back is low block, followed by three strike to the face, okay? So um, same thing as in the beginning, where you have low block, followed by three high block, now, when you go to the back, it's low block, followed by three high strike. So same thing, right? So if he low uh, punch, he hook, he low block, hook, hook, hook. Low block here, just f go high, okay? He low block, <laughs> high. Low block, <laughs> high, okay? And then uh, same thing, you wanna add two more, just add two more and it just goes like this. Just goes like this, so he go low ahead. Hey, bam, two, three, okay? So we go, three, three, three. three. All right, all right, so now we're gonna wind down to the last two. So right when you do here, you turn and go one, two, okay? And then the other side, one, two, right? So you're gonna ask, oh, why is there so many uh, repeti repetition to these kata? Uh, that's how these katas are designed, okay? It's designed with the repetition, and we're just gonna practice that, but uh, you don't have to do you know, one side and then 
uh, do, do the other side for the applications. I could show you one side and you understand the other side already, right? So let's say if he opponent comes here and let's say he, uh, he hook this side, hook me again. So see the, how low block here? One, right? And then next cut that's two, right? So don't do this. Don't go block and then hook, 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 step, block. Don't do that. It's not this. One, two, no. It's not, it's not that, okay? So think of it like this. Uh, think of it, let's say, let's say, let's say he, he punches with the other hand. If he, he punches straight here, right, we go block this way, right? And then from here, see how I go to the side here, here, and then break, put down here. All right, so it goes like this again. So let's say if it hits down here, see this block, right? From this block here, we see how I, so once you block here, he, he moves his hand and then go. <laughs> Break it down there. Okay? Again. So go. Down. Okay. Alright, so there, so there you go. So uh, first part of the video, I taught you the, the kata on how to do pinan nidan. The second part is the application part. If you like what you just saw, please uh, click like, subscribe, and I see you in these uh, two next videos. And also put in the comments below how you practice, uh, what do you want for me to show you in the next videos, and uh, I'll make sure I make those videos. In the meantime, just enjoy the videos.